Bonjour et bienvenue sur Grizzly and Bear Overland avec Lee et Steffi. We are currently taking a break from our Land Rover Defender and four-wheel camper rebuild project to hopefully reset our South African visas. Previously, we started to hike the GRR2 Trail, a multiple-day adventure on beautiful Reunion, a French island east of Madagascar. The GRR2 is a 140 km track with a 10,000 m total elevation gain, offering a diversity of terrains and stunning landscapes. Our first day was hot, sweating so much, then rainy and almost cold. It was also challenging, and what was about to happen, happened. Boom! All over! We cleaned everything as best as we could. We only have one set of clothes for the whole week. We then made our way to a stunning area, flat enough to set up our tent. Mud, constant rain, and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> our first night on the track was memorable, I would say. We had a wild night. Starting day number two, and it's wet. told me I was about to smack my head. I didn't see it, sorry. Doesn't look like anything on the video. No, that's steep. <laughs> it's very steep. Wow, this is a dense, uh, dense section. Humidity, I would say, that reminds me of Taiwan, but also the terrain, uh, a lot of uh, very high steps, and this is a killer for the knees. Right here next to this beautiful river, we're gonna stop for a break because we are super hot. Wash the shirt, probably wash my feet. And this is, like Steffi mentioned earlier, a really challenging hike with the elevation, but also the change in climate again. We've come down from this morning, 2000 meters uh, elevation. We were at last night's campsite. So, you know, you're going up there where it's, uh, it's almost an alpine environment. It was, it was cooler last night, down into this tropical, humid environment down in the valley. Pronounce it? Ore? Ore, it's Ore. called. A thousand meters straight up we've just come. And it's something very special about this place. We are walking down now the descent trail from that beautiful, beautiful little village of Ore. And there is no road access to this village. So it's only by walking or maybe helicopter. I'm in love. I'm in love with that little village. It's absolutely amazing. Like Steffi mentioned, no vehicle access, but that's what made it so special. I think um, out there, literally in the middle of these mountains here in Reunion, 
and the hike to get there was so epic. The vibe was so cool. Seems like everybody's got a small plot of land. Seemed to be a cow and a couple of sheep and goats and chickens, heaps of fruit and vegetables being grown. So I'm assuming most of the people that live out there are uh, self-sufficient, which is pretty bloody awesome. p.m. and this is too tempting so we're gonna ask if we can uh, put our tent somewhere follow the tunes <laughs> the luxury to have a table as soon as I'm about to set up the tent I wanted to talk about this guy oh, it must be 12 years now maybe longer actually we have been faithful users of the MSR Hubba Hubba NX I think was the name of it still my favorite tent in the world but what we wanted to try and do, as with the Defender, we're always trying to cut a bit of weight. And as we get more and more serious about our hiking, every gram counts, like it does big time. The only way to really shed serious weight in the going with tents is to go the ultralight version. So this tent here itself, the tent only, I think weighs 580 grams. It's a Z-Pax duplex. You use your hiking poles, which we carry anyway, as the structure for the tent. So these tents, they're made out of Dyneema, which is a pretty bloody tough material. Oh, and by the way, we're not affiliated with this brand. So yeah, a pretty good tent, pretty cool. Got a trusty old um, Nemo sleeping pads that we've had for a long time now. This tent is massive, it's spacious, but uh, one downside is you need 10 pegs now, which adds to the weight, of course. Like the uh, MSR is a freestanding tent. This one is not, but it does have a freestanding option. So we have got a, um, a frame for it as well, but we didn't bring that this time. Good morning on day number three. I think it's gonna be a beautiful day. It was so good to have a shower last night. Only down point was at 7.30, the owner started to put the music really loud. We didn't say anything until 10.30 and then Lee went and asked him if he could put the music down or turn it off and he just ignored Lee. <laughs> but anyway, after that we had a good night and now we're ready to go. Another beautiful little village out here in the mountains, completely inaccessible by vehicle, only by foot and helicopter, which we're hearing a lot of this morning. And that little green building there is the school. So every one of these little tiny villages has a school. Maybe they've got a little boulangerie if we're lucky. So this is a little supermarket in the village Ilea Bus. Cute little cover. Came with a chockey. So this is how the rubbish are being taken away. Helicopter will come in with a long lead line and someone will hook it up and away they go. This is the village of Cayenne. Today the sun is out. And we don't have shade, it is extremely hot, Stay extremely difficult, home. extremely Turn steep. Off the phone, I will listen to you. You lay in the sheets, you hold on to me like a morning. There's so many gone. helicopters, they must do like morning. Just wanted to stop quickly halfway up this enormously steep mountainside to talk about this hike and what makes this one so difficult, so special. It's the gradient. 132 kilometers end to end, but 10,000 meters of elevation gain. I'm no longer looking at my GPS for the distance. I'm looking at elevation gain. So I know we just started at 700 meters. We have to make it to 1300 meters. All I check is my altimeter on my watch to tell me how far I've got to go because distance is irrelevant. We did the Bibbulmun track a couple of years ago, which was 1,000 kilometers end to end, had about 20,000 meters elevation gain. So this is <laughs> 10 times shorter, pretty much, with uh, half the elevation gain. I'm 
I think you can clearly see in the middle of the screen here what is in store for tomorrow morning. This is a very cool wall. All the way to the top somehow. Beneath the shadows of this quiet town I see you there, your feathers on the ground Your eyes are heavy with the weight of the world What's in the life you never could offer Even if you never flown before You can take a chance and try once more Don't let your worries weigh you down, down, down You can still take five Though Incredible little riverside campsite. So another big day. I think today maybe 20 kilometers. I need to check. We're nowhere near doing our usual pace. <laughs> the elevation is slowing us down big time. We overestimated our ability, I think, on this track. But never learn to rise above these crowds. Stuck in Day number four, a big, big, big uh, uphill to start with. Actually, it's going to be uphill all day long. A very cool start to the day on this section of the, uh, the GR, GR2. And that's where we're headed. Come on, Frenchie. Nice. Well, that's good because you get elevation fast. Baguette. Baguette. Oui. Ben, on est à la nouvelle, la nouvelle chez Lolo. Et le ravitaillement ici, tout se fait par hélicoptère. Voilà. Et vous commandez sur internet Ah non, c'est nous qui partons faire les courses. Voilà, donc il faut compter à peu près bah, deux jours, le temps de partir un petit peu partout. Et ensuite bah, de, de, de monter au col de B, de préparer la charge. Et après, ben, l'hélico amène juste ici. Il y a un filet, on met ça sur un filet. L'hélico porte à peu près entre 800 et 900 kg, ça dépend de, de la météo. Et après, ben, il ramène ça jusqu'ici. Et il faut compter à peu près pour la charge, à peu près 220 euros pour une charge. Wow. Okay. Généralement, il dépasse juste à l'arrière de chez moi là. Et ensuite, je fais rentrer dans le magasin. Tracteur le, le tracteur Comment ils sont arrivés ici ouais. Ah, je crois que ça c'est dans les années 70. Je ne sais pas. Et en tout cas, nous ici, on a, le, on a le tonton, mon tonton qui est décédé il y a une dizaine d'années. Lui, il a créé le, la société Mafat Helicopter, qui est basée juste un petit peu plus bas du point de vue. Ok. Voilà, compagnie 100% locale. Ah, super <rire> oui. et, et donc, comment vous, vous vous rendez au magasin Ben, du coup, ben, on monte euh, jusqu'au jusqu col des baies à pied. Ah, et à pied Et après, ben, les, les, les voitures qui sont un peu plus haut du parking, ce sont, sont à nous. Ok. Voilà. D'accord, et il faut compter combien de temps pour aller au col ben, Moi, je prends 45 minutes. Ok. Pour la montée. Ah, à ben. vide, hein Expérience. Hein. Voilà, Une ouais. vie d'expérience. <rire> bah, merci beaucoup. Bah de rien. Fresh is on. Ah, use the cheat rock. We're a bit early, but we're gonna have a lunch break. It's 10.30 actually. 
but then it's a big push to the city. Ah, okay. Soleil, soleil. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm, the bread is um, it's still warm. It's super soft. Jambon et fromage. Mm, mm, mm. Bon bouffe. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand and eighty-one meters. Now oh. we're going down to Silaos, where what? we have a hotel booked for tonight. We just made it to Silaos. That was a tough afternoon. It's a very cute village. Like always, a big thank you for supporting our work on Patreon. Please join us this Friday for the third and last episode on Rainian Island, where things get wild and intense. See you soon. Take care. Bye bye.